Oh my gosh, I can't finish this video. I didn't do the nose. Hey. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And this is my face. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the infamous Pennywise, the villain of 2017. I'm going to be doing my take on the glam-ish version of Pennywise. And if you want to know how I achieved this look and how I got this look, you know what to do. Keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Heels Contour Cream Kit. And I'm going to be using this shade. I'm going to be applying that all over. I'm just going to blend this, this in. Since we are not going for the crazy original looking Pennywise, I'm going to be using this Essence product here and this is for the eyebrows. And I'm doing what I never normally do, square off the front. This is the old school way of doing eyebrows. And by old school, I mean like five years ago. I'm going to be using this disposable mascara one, which is a spoolie or something like that. And I'm just going to be brushing the hairs out just to soften them a little bit. So I'm in two months now if I want to do like a cut crease kind of look. You know what? Screw it, let's do cut crease. I'm taking this Naked 4 palette. I'm going to be using this shade here. Just using this little brush and we'll be sketching out my cut crease. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Nude Palette and I'm going to be using this chain here. And just applying that above the cut crease to get it a little bit intense. I'm going to be putting it on top and above this cut crease. I'm going to be using this red shade here and I'm just going to be putting that into the cut crease and creating a real dark red smoky cut crease look. I'm going to be taking a clean brush and I'm using my MAC 252 and I'm going to just be diffusing that red shade just to make sure it's not too heavy. I really really want to sketch out that cut crease so I'm going to be using this shade over here from the Kali palette. Taking this shade here from the Kali palette, I'm going to be just blending out that black a little bit so it's not so intense. I kind of want to intensify the inner corners as well. So I'm going to be taking that red shade again. And again, using my MAC 195, I'm going to be applying that to the lower lash line. And I'm going to be taking that same shade, Banana, from the Anastasia palette contour thing. And I'm just going to be fixing the situation. using this white eyeshadow I don't know why I couldn't think of what the word was and I'm just going to be applying that over top of wherever I put that concealer 
So I'm going to line my eyes using my normal MAC gel eyeliner. I'm going to be applying that on the bottom portion as well. As always, using my favorite mascara, this is the mini version of the Benefit Roller Lash. This is my ultimate favorite and I'm not sponsored, but I'd like to be. Benefit sponsored me because this stuff's amazing. That there, people, is an example of too much. Just please always make sure when you're applying false lashes, you want to make sure that you let your eyelashes dry, not all the way, just so they don't slide all over your eye when you're applying it. With some extreme great difficulty, I funny got these lashes on. So I'm going to be using this very orangey red color and just applying my lipstick as normal. So, now I'm going to take my black gel liner and I'm going to be tracing the outside of my lips and then really taking the black and kind of diffusing the inside of the lips so you can get more of like a contoured kind of looking thing I guess. I'm going to be taking this MAC lip pencil in Cherry and I'm just going to be marking out where I want that kind of thing. So it's going to start from the lip. I really screwed this one up, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. It's, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna chase it out now. It's gonna work. Failing, but I'm still gonna go with it. <laughs> okay, so that's just, it's gonna be that for now. We are going to fix it. I'm gonna use my MAC 246 and I'm just gonna diffuse these edges a little bit because I'm not really happy with where it's going. So I'm gonna diffuse the edges using this red shade. Now taking a small definer brush, I'm diffusing Using that the black harsh line. Okay, so this is not blending, so I'm gonna have to take my gel liner and create another line. And then I'm gonna have to just fill that out and then smudge it from me. I'm going to take that red and I'm just going to be applying that over the top so we don't lose that red theme of this look. So, 
sure. I guess that's Pennywise. Right? Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. Wait, I think I might be missing something. The hair. I don't even know what is it, what is it, what is it? All right guys, so that is the conclusion of this makeup tutorial inspired by the one, the only, the 2017 villain, Penny Freaking Wise. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun creating this look, although we had a little bit of trials and tribulations doing this, but I managed to do it and I love it. And I'm gonna go to McDonald's now and scare the crap out of everybody. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so you can get notified when I upload videos. I didn't do the nose, guys. Why didn't you tell me? I knew I was missing something. <laughs>